kicked off with uh, maybe a little bit of a comprehensive injury report for us. Uh, you got a number of guys that are on the shelf for now. Maybe if you can start with Joey Decord and an update on him. Uh, Joey will be out for a little bit here. Um, uh, we're waiting still uh, uh, for the official report, but uh, he won't play uh, for the next little bit. Uh, Whitey is day to day. Anisimov is day to day. Uh, Dadnoff not on the ice this morning. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Dadnoff is uh, just a maintenance day. Uh, Hogberg is skating as well, um, and uh, Murray continues to be day to day. Okay, is with Matt Murray? Is it upper body? Is it lower body? Um, are you? Can you be a little bit more specific? Upper body, Gord. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and obviously lower body for Joey Decord. Uh, yes. All righty. And Whitey is um, upper or lower or somewhere around there? <laughs> Mid. No, yeah, uh, Whitey's upper, um, and he's day-to-day. -day. We, we expect him back, uh, maybe miss a little bit of time, but we're, we're hopeful he'll be playing. Does this uh, break come at a good time for a team that's going through this kind of spell? Yeah, well, for sure. Guys will be up. We've played, I think it's another 7-11 and 11 we're ending here. Um, and guys are banged up. Certainly they're tired with these young guys. This is a lot of games. This is, this is more than usual, you know, compared to a regular NHL season, um, let alone uh, some younger guys that are, you know, and you're traveling uh, time zone to time zone. It's just a different year in general. And uh, um, I think you got to have give a little more credit to maybe the Red Wings in their heyday when they used to play in that division where they'd go back and forth all the time. It does take a little bite out of you, but in saying that, these guys continue to play hard. They practiced hard today. Uh, they have no excuses. We'll go to Ken Warren at Post Media. Yeah, good morning, DJ. Um, just to follow up a little bit on the goaltending situation, I just maybe clarify when Forsberg, if he clears all the quarantine and tests, when he can join you guys and what right now you're looking at for Monday. Are you maybe looking at Gustafson Monday? Uh, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's too that's soon um, for any of that. Uh, Pierre will let me know um, when uh, when Forsberg's available to us, um, but that's too soon. There's a lot of question marks there as to who could be ready over the next three days. Um, so we're hopeful a lot of guys get healthy and we have some choices. But uh, if it's Gus, I thought he looked great again today in practice. thought he came in for having no idea, you know, that, that he'd be in. And in, the, in a pressure situation, the way he came in and what he did, I wouldn't be afraid to put him in for sure. Mark Broussard, Ledois. Uh, Gus, uh, Gus doesn't mention last night, Coach, that uh, he was supposed to play Friday in Belleville. I guess now that the plan is completely changed. And do you worry about anybody playing in Belleville and getting hurt? Or you won't put your goal in the <laughs> bubble wrap? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll let Pierre do his job and, and I'll do mine. I mean, he'll tell me who's available to me and who's not available to me. Um, you know, there, there's plans change every day, certainly with injuries and uh, – um, you know, he's going to practice with us uh, tomorrow, so certainly he won't be playing there tomorrow. Wayne Scanlon, Sportsnet. Yeah, Coach, yeah, you gave us a bit of an update on Marcus Hogberg yesterday, but today's another day. Is he getting uh, close at all? Yeah, he is. He's getting much closer in skating. Um, I don't know what percent he's at, um, but he's certainly uh, uh, hopefully an option here shortly. Ian Mendez, The Athletic. Hi, DJ. Just one question for you. I know it was a roster move, but Eric Brandstrom to uh, the AHL, do you anticipate him playing uh, AHL games this weekend? And what's the sort of short-term plan for Brandstrom? Yes, he, uh, he will play for Belleville. Um, we don't play for four days, so um, there's no point in him, you know, sitting around practicing with us when he can play games. Um, and he'll be able to go down there and get big minutes. And, uh, uh, you know, Pierre will uh, reevaluate after that. But I think it's a good opportunity. Um, for him to get in, uh, uh, get in a game and, and, and play tons of minutes. For the final one, we'll circle back to Ken Warren. Yeah, just a thought on uh, you talk about Branstrom playing uh, with Willannon and Gabranson last night. I guess Shabbat ate up a lot of their ice time. What, what did you think of their performance and what sort of happened there with, with those two where they didn't play a lot late in the game? Well, that's on me. Um, you know, I told Jack we have four days off and, and, you know, however many minutes Shabby's got to go to to help us win is what he'll go. And uh, um, you know, I thought uh, you know Willie got an assist on the on the one goal. I thought he moved the puck well. Um, you know, but it, when it came down to uh, the big minutes in the third period with the game on the line, 
um, you know what, we, we went down to four. A lot of teams do. Uh, Shabby can handle those minutes. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result we wanted to, but uh, he's a big reason why we get to overtime and lose in a shootout, though.